This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. This is one of my favorite features in Microsoft. You can actually customize the ribbon tabs. You can make your own little groups and tabs, and it's awesome. So let me show you how you can do this. Just jumping into Access. I don't need anything open, because all I want to work on right now are the ribbons. So I just double-clicked on a ribbon to expand it. Here's how you get into the back behind the scenes. You right-click on any of the tabs, and you choose Customize the Ribbon. And when you get into Customize the Ribbon, this is just the backstage. Look, these are all the areas. Oh, excuse me, it's not the backstage. It's the options from the backstage. Here are all of the items that are listed, and Customize Ribbon is the one that's automatically selected for us. So first thing, over here on the right, let me collapse Database Tools. These are the current main tabs that are available. Currently, I have everything turned on. What I want to do is I simply want to create a new tab. So I click on New Tab, and it automatically puts in a new tab and a new group, and you can see that it says Custom. You click on New, and here at the bottom you have Rename. So I click on Rename, and I'm going to call this, let's call it Sherry's Views. Oops. Oh, shoot. You know what I just did? I just accidentally hit Enter when I meant to hit something else. So click on that, Rename. See how you can fix it? All right, Sherry's Views. So now this particular item is going to be called Sherry's Views. And in my group, I am just going to say all views. Oh, and by the way, you can attach a symbol to it as well. So we'll attach the smiley face. It's just that rarely do those symbols show up. So now I have all views. And now what I want to do is I want to actually add some tools into this group called all views. So on the left, this is where all of my tools are. And instead of popular commands, I want to go down to all tabs. And in all tabs, I want to go to the view tab. And I could do individual items here, or I could do it this way. I could say main tabs, and then I can go to home and views. I like this one just a little bit better. But again, you can find it however you'd like. And then you can either double click to move things over, or single click, and then choose add. So I simply want to add the different views. Print preview. Now I don't use SQL a lot, so I'm going to skip SQL. Uh, layout view, design view, and I'm happy with there are all of my views. Now let me say OK to that and show you that now I have created, oh, and I probably should have capitalized it to match the other tabs. There's my new tab, and there's my new group. So now anytime I just want to switch views, I go to my view tab, and it doesn't matter what I have open. It's not context sensitive anymore based on what's open. Let me just show you. Let's just open that table there. And now you can see that only the views that are associated with the table are available for me. I absolutely love this. Now, if I decide that there's one in here that I don't need, I realize, oh, that was a mistake. You just go back. So right click, customize the ribbon, and I can drop down my custom views, and I can say, you know, I really didn't want this one. I'll just remove it. If I want another group, I simply click on the Sherry's Views and New Group. Now, here's my new group being created. I would just go in and rename, which I already know how to do, so I won't take time to do that. And then add whatever it is that you want into that group. So let me just add a few. I want to um, delete records, and I want to be able to sort ascending, and I want to change the font color. And um, let's just do the font size while I'm here. But again, you would have a purpose in your se selections, right? So now I have my new group, which I didn't name. You know how to name that, though. And I have all the tools available on this new group. So as you can see, it's quite easy. Once you know just a couple of little tricks, it's quite easy to customize, to add your own tabs. Well, here's what I truly do in my real world. In my real world, I set up my databases to have those tools in my tabs that I need, and then, so things don't get too crowded, then I go turn off the tabs that I don't need any longer, because I already have 
all the tools that I want on my own tabs. So I ignore those tools that I rarely, if ever, use, but then if I need them, just right click, customize the ribbon, and I can go turn on the main tabs, and I'll have all of the tools available again. So as you can see, it's really quite easy. Oh, and just a little caveat to that, you can also go to an existing ribbon and you can create a new group on an existing ribbon. You can't add, look, I can't add into something that is already created by Microsoft, but what I can do is I could create my own new group that could go in and then I could add the tools that I would like to to my own group. So you can customize existing tabs and existing ribbons or as I created mine, you can create your own. Now if you change your mind and you don't need them, Here's how you remove. You simply select what you don't want and hit remove. So as you can see, now that group that I just added is gone. And if you totally want your tab to be gone, right click, customize, and you simply click on the name of the tab that you created and choose remove. And so now that tab no longer exists here in my database. But as you can see, it's very, very simple. So now you can go out, you can customize your database usage for the tools that you use all of the time. And I really think the benefit here is you can get your work done much more quickly. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.